video we are going to see how to delete a node which has two children in a binary search tree uh, uh, you can do the deletion of a node with two children in two ways one is suppose this is the node which we are going to delete then you have to move to its right and then go to its left and then take the uh, minimum value so where you can find a minimum value in a right subtree uh, you can move to the left 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 subtree and there you will be having the lowest value so find the in order successor of node smallest to node smallest node in the right subtree so how you will find the smallest node in the right subtree you have to first you have to take a right you have to take its right node and then move towards its left and the deep left leaf node you will be having the minimum value so uh, find the minimum value from the right subtree so in one simple word find the minimum value from the right subtree which is nothing but you can find it as a left leaf node then another way is find the in order predecessor of node n that is largest node in the left subtree you have to move to its left and then you have to move towards right so when you move towards the right you will be having the largest node and replace it or and in another way you can say maximum value of the left subtree suppose as per uh, the first one you have to move right and then you have move deep left so that uh, at the last you will be having the value to be replaced that is a minimum value so if you take the 16 16 can be replaced uh, let us imagine 15 node this node we are going to remove so according to the first one you have to move to right and then move left left so here you will be having this uh, no this value when you replace it here the again binary search tree is maintained because left is the left uh, node is uh, lesser than the, when after replacing the 60 left still is left is lesser than this uh, parent and the parent is still uh, lesser than the right node so now it is again maintaining the binary search tree property now suppose let us according to the second point that is move towards left and then move to its deep right so that you will get the maximum value in in uh, in, in this node so you will be have where you will find the maximum only in the uh, right shell what is the right shell so if it has one more right shell then you can take that also and that value can be replaced so when you replace this if you take this uh, tree move towards left and move after moving towards first left then you take right only so here you have that 12 even even if you replace 15 with 12 still our binary search tree property is maintained so this is the logic <coughs> now we will see through this program now if you see that see here uh, we are uh, we are uh, this is a case c case c is the name of the function which we have given for when you want to uh, delete a node with the two children so here parent and location will be the node which we are through search element we will be finding the location so this will be the location after uh, you call that search element because we want to find first we have to search for the element so when you execute the search function uh, it will uh, it will return the uh, parent and the location location is this and its parent is this because i want to delete this node which has a two ch children so now it will return the algorithm will return location to be this and parent to be this now sorry yes now here uh, let us take this parent node here parent uh, locate is this parent is this parent of this is that now we declared four more pointers saying ptr ptr stay success and uh, uh, pa or success the parent successor so this we are going to keep this pointer so that when we move towards the tree we have to find the replacement for those things we will be using this temporary pointer initially ptr save will be this so what here according to our algorithm ptr save now we make it to point to 
this location so now after this after this statement this also will point to this location now we have one more very one more pointer called ptr equal to location right this is the location location uh, right is this so here oh, yes now this also points to this so we make both this to point to this location that is location right so location right means it is pointing the this value that is now it is pointing here pointer pointer is uh, pointer is location right so now it is pointing this so one right turn has been taken now then <coughs> well pointer left is not equal so you have to move deep left well pointer is left is not until it reaches the end of the leaf that is it reaches the leaf what you have to do is point you assign some another temporary variable called that is already we have assigned that to location pointer c this pointer c equal to pointer and then now we are moving this because now pointer is pointing this so now we have we are moving this to point to this now let me rub this so now it is uh, pointing this next um according to this algorithm uh, pointer is pointer left now it is moved again pointer is pointer left means now it is pointing this so now after execution your pointer is pointing this okay now it is pointing this and pointer uh, sav is pointing the parent of this then uh, again pointer left now you move this now move this uh, this is the pointer left so now uh, it is pointing uh, here okay now it is pointing that now pointer save is this now it is pointing here yes now it is pointing this now the pointer left is there and it reach uh, pointer high pointer is pointing here now pointer is pointing here which is nothing but equal to none so now it quits it will not go inside the while loop so after this while loop execution pointer is pointing to this last leaf node and uh, its parent node is pointed by ptr save okay now this is the question now we'll go to the next point successor equal to pointer we keep to another variable called suc and we make that to point to this pointer which is nothing but now this six state then next one pair suc um this is not that i'll explain this only up to this only the thing is that now <coughs> successor equal to this is also made to point to this then par suc that is made to point to this ptr suv its parents okay successor is made to point to ptr and parent successor it is made to point to its previous one that is ptr save by assigning this statement now this is the successor we check the left pointer and the right pointer if both are equal to null then case a which means it is a leaf node so deletion of a uh, leaf node is executed that we have already seen so we pass this uh, variable this and this and so that what will happen after that after the execution of this since this is a leaf node now uh, since it is a left node this case a what it will do is it will check Uh, where the parent, uh, where this, uh, uh, whether this is a left child or a right child. Since it is a left child, now this will be made as uh, null pointer, and this will be disconnected, and it will be removed. Okay, uh, but still it is uh, pointing the successor and PTR are pointing this. Now, else case B, case B means if it has a, uh, if it has another. Oh, no. if it has a another node this is not a leaf node that is called case b if it has one one child let us imagine this is the uh, left child sorry right child this is the right child of this so in which case how you have to do when you are removing you have to uh, make this to point to 
this. So, for example, if it is a left child, then you have to make this as a left child of that. Even if it is right child of this, after removal, this will become the left child of this. Because to its parent node, this is a uh, left child. So, this also must be a left child of this only. For this only, it is right child. So, in that case, we execute case B. Case B will do the manipulation. That is already that we have seen when there is a single node. Single, when it has a one child, the node which you are going to delete. This is the node which you are now deleting. Even if this is the one which you are deleting, we are going to replace it. So, when we are replacing, we are going to delete this also. So, it, it checks whether it is a, uh, it has a another uh, child. So, in that case, this will be with the, even when we are deleting, this has to be attached with the tree. So, that can be done by case B where a single node will be checked and whether it is a right child or a left child, accordingly it will be attached. So, after, if it, if, if this type of tree is existing, now after execution, after removal, that is case A, case B, sorry, case B, this will be attached with this. So, now it is pointing to this. So, this is what happening. But now our uh, tree is like that. So let us take this th the condition for uh, for demo only. I have given you that. Okay. But actually, it will stop here, and this manipulations are done. Now, if parent is equal to null, what do you mean by parent equal to null? This is the parent. Already we have seen this is the parent, and this is the location. If parent is equal to null, means there it is a root node, the one which we are going to delete because. What we are seeing is node with two children. Let us imagine we are going to delete 20. Okay. Then location will be this and parent will be null. In that case, how you have to do? You already, we have done uh, location right. This is the location. Location right is this we have reached. After that, there is no data. Okay. No node. So only one node. So now what you have to do? You have to replace this with this. So that is what here we are doing. So this will be the successor. According to our algorithm, this will be the successor now. So now what we do is this becomes the root. So this will be replaced. So this will become the root. So root equal to successor. If it is the, uh, the root which we are going to delete. Okay. Then else. But now, now our condition is uh, will be executed with the else. So what happens? If location equal to parent left. Here location. If location equal to parent left. Now we are going to replace this with this value so before doing that we have to check whether the node which you are dating is left child a left child or a right child but in this condition we are in the left child so it checks but anyway it has to check whether location equal to parent left or parent right so if it is parent left if location equal to parent according to our condition it is parent left so what you have to do in parent left successor that is this the memory location of this because this is what going to be replaced here we are not just going to replace with the value we are going to remove the node and this node has to be replaced so we have to do pointer manipulation also so accordingly parent left in parent left this successor suppose this has been written in 100 the memory location then now 100 will be done so which means it is pointing now this this now so next what we have to do now this condition has been done now successor left this is our successor in successor left what it has to do it has to return it has to point this because now it is here the position of this is considered to be here so now this has to point the left has to be this is the, you can consider this whole thing to be replaced here now what you have to do is it, it is already having a null pointer because of the leaf node. Now this has to be replaced. So in this case, what is the location left that will be written here inside because this is pointed by successor. So successor location left will be returned and in successor right location right will be written so that now the whole thing goes here. Now after this what will happen? You can imagine it will be like this 16. Now, this node is completely written here. This whole node is written here. And now it is made to point. How it can be made? The previous one. Location left is made to point this location. Now, it fit into the place. 
Now, if you see that, it still maintain the binary search algorithm. So that is what here we have done. So, successor left, you write the location left. And in successor right, you write the location right. 